As a kid, I always loved things that fly. I was always attracted to airplanes and rockets, just loved space, and I was just always attracted to the mystery of what's beyond. My name is Woody Hoberg, and I'm the pilot for NASA's Crew-6 mission to the International Space Station. I grew up north of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and I was lucky to go to a wonderful public school called North Allegheny High School. Participated in a lot of winter sports, so I enjoyed growing up in the cold. I think my first dream was to be a ski patroller, and uh, not long after that, I decided I wanted to be an astronaut. I think I was always, even as a kid, attracted to technical things and also to problem solving. I got deeply involved with something called the Tripoli Rocketry Association and started building my own large-scale amateur rockets. The largest one I built was 21 feet tall, 16 inches in diameter. It weighed well over 100 pounds. The hard part is getting it back in one piece. I was sewing my own parachutes on my mom's sewing machine, so there were some additional features that I built into these things. Since college, I've been very active as a rock climber, and so in grad school, I, I wanted to kind of take that to the next level, and I, I had a desire to maybe serve more, and so I became an EMT, uh, became a member of Yosemite Search and Rescue. So I was spending uh, most of the year at Berkeley uh, working on my PhD, but then in the summers, I was stationed in Yosemite National Park, and then I ultimately went to MIT as a young faculty member and led a research group studying convex optimization for uh, engineering design. I would probably still be there, except that I got selected to come to NASA and be an astronaut. I got a call from uh, Chris Cassidy. He told me the incredible news that they wanted me to come down to Houston and uh, start training. I could not believe the words I was hearing. It was surreal. I knew that eventually I might have an opportunity to actually fly a mission. And so getting the phone call, realizing that process was starting, was a really special day for me, one that I will never forget. We have an absolutely amazing crew. I couldn't be happier with uh, all three of my crewmates. I'm just so excited to spend time living and working in space with them and do this mission together. We've enjoyed training together both at NASA and our trips out to Hawthorne to train with SpaceX. It feels like we really are gelled and we're ready to execute the mission. I'm excited to carry on a small piece of the more than 22 year history of continuous human presence aboard ISS. It's quite surreal now having actually achieved that childhood dream and being ready to embark on my mission to actually fly in space.